Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So there's a Batista ROM um, which comes with the latest XSLPQ official update um, Let's go install this real quick uh, Hold down volume up, power and the center button together um, Before you do this make sure you copy the two files over I'll have links below to your internal SD card or your SD card Internal storage or SD card if it's the Foxhound um, Batista ROM, this is the ICS version. Uh, that used to be one of my favorite ROMs for gingerbread. Very fast ROM. First, um, you'll do a white data factory reset. Say yes. Make sure you make a backup before you do this. And when that's done, we're going to go back and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from internal or regular SD card. And I'm gonna go to download, pretty simple to do. Download and uh, Foxhound 0 point part one. Select that one and say yes. And uh, you'll reboot into system after everything. You go through the system settings and stuff. You'll reboot into Clockroom Recovery, um, install the part two and reboot, and this should be pretty much done. Um, you know, the directions say you should uh, clear Dolby Cache and Cache 2. You can do that too, but I find that you don't have to, so if you have trouble, you can try that too. But it should be a pretty simple two part installation. I'll be back when this is done. So it is done. Um, simply go back, hit the power button, reboot system, hit the power button, and uh, just let it settle and uh, go through the Android. Um, ICS startup menus. So I just skip, 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 and then um, you can redo it. Oh, we'll take a look at the boot animation. It looks really cool. I really like this. It's one of the coolest boot animations. Whew, Foxhound. So I'll be back when this reboots. If you get in stuck in boot loop like me, um, it's been five minutes. I'm just gonna reboot it. It should reboot. It should work again. Do do do. There we go. And I'll be back when this reboots. And right away now it's uh, uh, showing the upgrade screen. So if you get a boot loop, just reboot it. You most likely just the first time um, thingy. I didn't do any daily cache clear or anything. So I'll be back when this optimizes and we'll reboot and uh, be all good to go. So now it's done doing optimization. It's installing applications. Um, looks really cool and I'll be back when this is done so it's done rebooting I'm just gonna skip through this and uh, you can sign in if you want um, finish and as soon as it boots up um, we can go back into uh, I like the apex launcher um, choose volume up home button and power button again and flash the part two, and you should be good. The instructions say you should wipe again, but oh, with all the cache and cache, you can do that. You don't have to. You can always go back and do that. So I'm gonna go install it from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Oh, sorry. Choose it from internal SD card. Since I put it there, go down to my download. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of hurry today. I gotta go somewhere. Um, download and uh, go to Fox Sound Part 2. Hit the center button, say yes. Center button. And that should take like five seconds. And go back. And reboot system now. And we should be all good to go. And I'll be back when this is done rebooting. And there's the um, boot animation again. Looks really cool. I have to keep showing it to you. Um, this ROM overall. I'll have a, a full review of it, um, but it's based on the XXLPQ. Um, there we go. So we installed it. That's how you install it. I'll have a full review of this. It also comes with DSP Manager, which is really good. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once or twice a week. Um, we don't share your email with anyone else. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and share button. Share with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And thanks you guys for supporting my channel. 
Um, actually, I'm not going to get high anymore on Android. i got to go somewhere. So, see you all later. Have a great weekend. I'll have updates on Monday, I think. See you all later.